At least six people have died after a migrant boat sank in the English Channel. While trying to cross from France to Britain, more than 50 people have been rescued, but French authorities believe two people are still missing. In northern France, the echo of awful death once again lingers over these beaches. In the darkness of the early morning, a boat laden with migrants overturned near this coast. Dozens were rescued, but not all. The Channel has claimed more victims. The French maritime minister came to Calais to support his emergency services. He said those who died had been victims of callous criminals. When we spoke, I put it to him that some in Britain think the French aren't doing enough to stop the flow of small boats. The French government is doing a lot. We intensified our uh, effort, we intensified the presence of our vessel. That's why we had four vessels in a few minutes that were uh, on the sea and managed to save and to rescue life. So what we are doing is saving life. That's our first priority. Among those he spoke to were the crew of the local lifeboat. These men recovered five bodies from the water. When we arrived, we could only see large amounts of water. It was the helicopter which guided us to find the bodies. And then we had to recover the bodies, one after another. Normality does return quickly to these beaches. People here learn how to live with the spectre of migration. Well, this is the beach in Songat in northern France, and right now it looks like a playground for kite surfers. But over the years, tens of thousands of people have set off from here in small boats heading towards Britain, and the boat that sank was just a few miles out at sea from where I'm standing. And this tragedy is probably a demonstration of two things. Firstly, the perils of making that journey. But secondly, the determination of so many people to still try to get from here to Britain over there. Sky News has witnessed this danger close up. Chaotic scenes of people clambering through the sea and onto these flimsy, overcrowded boats. But people do this journey for one reason, because they are desperate to get to Britain. Some of those rescued here were helped by a British lifeboat, which landed them in England. They arrived exhausted and having been witnesses to tragedy. That is an awful price to pay for crossing the channel. Adam Parsons, Sky News, Calais.